joining now is Republican Senator Steve Daines of Montana. Senator Daines participated in Pfizer's vaccine trial and has now tested positive for COVID antibodies. Senator, it's great to have you. Is it true that your mom gave you this idea? She did. In fact, uh, my mom's 78, my dad's 81. They live right here in my hometown of Bozeman, Montana. And mom heard from her doctor that Pfizer was going to be using Bozeman as one of their uh, trial sites. There were several all across the country. And so I went online. I enrolled to see if I could get into the trial. This was back in, uh, in August. And I received my, uh, my first, uh, first vaccine on August 27th. So, Senator, I have to, to tip my hat to you. I mean, I don't know if someone came to me and said, do you want to participate in this vaccine trial, knowing how urgent the need was and you know, how rushed it was. If, if I, and so tell me about, I mean, you have a background in, in biotech, right? You were an, a, an executive in the industry. Uh, did that increase your comfort level? And uh, you and your wife both did it, right? We did. Well, I, I have a science background. I'm a chemical engineer by degree. I worked for Procter & Gamble. Uh, for 13 years after I graduated from college. In fact, I used to be involved in, uh, in launches of FDA-regulated products. And the, the, the science is very compelling. The science is very clear. And this was a phase three clinical trial with Pfizer, which means they've been through phase one and phase two. There's been a lot of testing done. This phase three trial that I participated in had 43,000 participants and I received the first vaccine August 27th. And then about three weeks later, they administered a booster shot. And then I had the uh, antibody test in October. And I'm very thankful I had very strong uh, COVID-19 antibodies, which means I've got the protection. And as the results have come out, it's shown that this particular vaccine is 95% effective. This is, this is great news for the American people. Uh, this is how we bring an end to this pandemic. And the reason my wife and I participate in it is, is we want to help build confidence and trust uh, in these vaccines. Because if you look at the history of pandemics, it is vaccines that bring an end to these pandemics. I think about polio. Uh, yeah. It was in 1953 when Dr. Jonas Salk announced on radio then that he had a vaccine. The American people cheered to lift the spirits. And uh, I see that Pfizer today has submitted their EUA, their emergency youth authorization uh, request to the FDA. This could be a tremendous Christmas present for the American people. One more question about your experience. Um, did it hurt? And did you experience any side effects? Did the, the shot itself uh, cause any unusual pain? Yeah, no, it didn't. Uh, I typically get the flu shot every year. Uh, and it reminded me of getting the flu shot. It was, it was virtually painless, the, the vaccine itself. I had a little bit of a sore arm for a couple of days. And then I had slight chills about a day after the last a few hours. They resolved. I felt completely fine you know, the next day. Uh, and that was probably an indicator that I actually had the vaccine because about half of the participants in the trial received a placebo, about half the actual vaccine. It was a blind trial, so they wouldn't tell you if you were getting the actual right. vaccine or not. But uh, my experience with the vaccine was similar to with a flu shot. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.